this is the unboxing of a Teleview uh, eye guard uh, and extender so let's open and see what is inside I got extender twist on style EGE0020 made by Teleview and this is TV I got extent extension production pro probably means production uh, 5984 let me just remove this uh, other stuff from the way and uh, open the box and see what is inside that Okay. Ta-da! Oh, okay, very good box. Well packed. There is a brochure inside. I guard extender. Those of you who have a Teleview eyepiece especially things like a Panoptix 35mm or uh, Atos or Delos, not Delos, but uh, things like a Nagler, which I have here, Nagler 35mm Type 5. Type 5 uh, is difficult to actually position your eye around it. And the reason is that, if I remove it, there is no practically anywhere that you can actually rely on putting your eye lean on it and just observe with something like a Pentax there is such a thing Teleview doesn't have that Pentax XW eyepieces so for that purpose they came up with another idea to sell you something instead of improving the design or changing it they came with this idea of uh, producing a extender eye guard. So practically it has a cap of its own. It has a rubber eye guard, but that extends around uh, less than a minimum, uh, less than a centimeter. Oh no, yeah, more than a centimeter. The amount of the space that is uh, available for you to actually uh, exclude the lights and uh, uh, also rely uh, um, lean your eye uh, on it so position practically your eye to see the actual view if you have used this teleview nagler you know that easily you will have blackouts by moving your eye and that is natural when you are uh, standing in the dark you may lose your sense of orientation all the time your head is a little bit slightly moving the movement is not because you're uh, anything wrong with you your natural movement of body is like that your heart is, heart is pounding you move your body slightly and these things cause that you have blackouts practically so to cure that you need something that you can rely and direct your eye in that direction and that is the function of the eye guard for installing it uh, you have to remove the rubber eye guard and uh, install this on this uh, it's a little bit 
tricky because you have to loosen the lower part and put it there then tighten it again uh, all the instructions are written here pull off and save the rubber I got from my piece of course we don't need that because this one has a rubber I got itself while holding lower engraved outer ring that means lower part this one which has uh, grooves on it uh, with one hand on the screw inner top ring containing the rubber eye guard that's the part with your uh, when you see your name uh, the name is written there the name of the eye guard and the rubber and uh, just enough so the assembly slips over the eyepiece top so over here when you did that while it's still holding the outer ring, retighten the inner ring. Inner ring is the lower part. Uh, until it locks into the eyepiece. So, for doing this, I need two hands. So, I'm just showing you the final result. But the instructions are here. I'll hold it here for you if you want to read it. It's available in the website of Teleview. So, um, you can print it for yourself or read it. Okay, just to mention, this top part turns, so you turn it uh, anti-clockwise when you hold it, the eye, rubber eye, eye guard is toward you, you turn it anti-clockwise and it comes a little bit out of this, so it's now ready to go over here. Then you hold the lower part and tighten the upper part. Yeah, now it's done. It's relatively easy, no problem at all. Now you have something that is completely extended by around uh, if the, if you consider the metal part that's around uh, almost nine centimeter nine millimeter uh, you can look there for the details in your uh, in the website they, they will tell you how much it is and so practically that means that you have a recess you can rest your eye on this this is also excluding the area around it all exclude any external light when you put your eye around it here that makes it really easy to observe so nice addition and now I can put the lens cap for the eye guard and that's it done Ta -da! The only thing is that I have to extend the space in the <laughs> in the case, eyepiece case, a little bit more to accommodate this added dimension. And when you're finished with the installing the eye guard, you will end up with a rubber eye guard from the old eyepiece. Uh, a lens cap from again from the same eyepiece and this of course goes back where it came from end cap and ta -da! you have a new look for your expensive eyepiece believe it or not the price of this is equal to price of a good uh, <laughs> Double door American style fridge. And now you can put your eyepiece in the shelf or in the case if you wish. I recommend you color code it with the security code water, invisible water. <laughs> 